My goodness, Mr. Vitale, the heat is on, and I mean literally. It's got to be over 110 degrees on the court, and at this point in the tourney, fatigue could be a factor. Only one team can leave the island of Maui as champion, so strap yourself in, folks, for this winner takes all battle between the Kansas Jayhawks and the UCLA Bruins. Number three is a catalyst that can really get this team going. He's got great offensive skills and to go with it, some solid defense. The Bruins will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. As we tip it for the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby. The Bruins are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. Number one, don't allow any good looks from beyond New York. Challenge every shot. Secondly, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Inside for two. Perfectly executed. Bed the low block with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. The Bruins have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Looks at the three. Got it. We get another look. Trying to pack it inside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They work it back to the outside. He shoots from the elbow, sinks it. They work the perimeter. He unloads. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Inside. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. From left of the circle. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. The center takes the pass for the bucket. They still don't score. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The center gets the pass. Double team now, Ben Angler. The point guard takes the feed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop for two. Contact causes the shot to come off. He drains the bucket. He keeps the dribble as they reset. 
Fake. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Controlling the ball. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. He'll regroup the offense. The center gets the ball. The fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The point guard with the ball. Steal. Our three prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Defender is resilient, still applying pressure. He does the sweet fake shot. Gets a hand in the way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We'll take the shot. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Intercepted. Pushes it up. I tell you what, coach may have to invite the mascot to the tryouts next year. That guy's got great jumping ability. Did you see him after the last dunk? What a high riser. This guy wants the play. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Working it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> what a great strip. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes for the opportunity. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. Great shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. Thanks, Aaron. Get that 
sucker out of the game, man. Tries for two. UCLA are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Has a nice look at the basket. He nails the bucket. He lets it go. He drains the shot. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Copeland is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Jumps into the defender. Turns it over. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Frustration right there. For two, the Pac-10 has been and continues to be a solid conference. You can always expect a fast-paced style of play. There's definitely some talent in this conference, Brad. There are also many current pros who played for Pac-10 schools like Arizona, Cal, UCLA. The list goes on and on, buddy. He looks for three, drains the shot. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal strong. He goes to the free throw line. He gets it to go. Makes those free throws can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number 42 with the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the outside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Blocks the shot. They just keep shutting the door. Great anticipation defensively. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. Easy one. Work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. court takes away the pass got 
the shot if he wants it. Drains it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more. He rejects it. Great play to take that to the basket. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Got a guy right up on him. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Makes the block. Picked off. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Gets it back out. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby. Celebrating a lot of jubilation. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. He fires away. Nice shot. He pump fakes. Executes the baby hook. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nesla. How much fun would that be? That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Gave it up. 
Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots way off target. Defense giving some room. He shoots from downtown. You betcha. Picks off the pass. For two, Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how warm they can keep it off, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to shoot. Top of the circle, he nails the shot. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Leans in. He's money with the shot. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Let's it fly. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Rejects it. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Bruins are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes his first. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Throws up the prayer. Bounces off. The ball goes out of play. At halftime, the Jayhawks are down by four. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. UCLA is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. 
Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. He attempts to jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The Bruins lead by six. They're working around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The layup is good. Almost lost the basketball. The point guard receives the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. There's a steal. High post flasher is open. Shots there if he wants it. Oh, what a strip, Red. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Intercepted. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's see the replay on that one. In the paint. Rice makes a great move to draw the foul. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And he'll kick it back outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Man, he's on fire. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. Marshall receives the ball. Marshall that basketball. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, blocks the shot. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on that talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. The power forward handles the feed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Spander handles the pass. Perfectly executed. Take it away. 
Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Gave it up. Buchanan draws the personal. He got inside off that screen, but he couldn't put it in. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Buchanan goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. There's the trap. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. He knocks down another bucket. Dude. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the outside. Takes away the pass. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Or two. There was no doubt about that one. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Doesn't go. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Side. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Free throw is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Look at that spacing. Time to pick up the defense here now. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. On the outside. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Now work it around the arc. The problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Off the mark with a shot. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. off the pass the crowd loves this young man the people here really appreciate what he brings to the table in the paint 
Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. It's two at the charity strike. The Jayhawks are ahead by five. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Moving it around the perimeter. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Steals the ball. Electrifying in here. Good fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Gets it to fall. Picked out of the air. He gets the bucket to fall. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. For the bucket, and in and out. Brings it down. Now they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Picked off. He gets it to fall. Jumped in front to take it away. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Gave it up with the fake. Here's a double team. Stolen. Fast break opportunity here. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He fouled him. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Makes it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They work the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. For the deuce. It. Copeland. They get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. With the freebie. He got it. 
They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. He's got a nice shot fake. Steals the pass. And again, they look to run. For two. Up. Easy one. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. He takes the board. Looking for a good shot. And they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Gotta get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Got some room. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. He takes the shot. He hits it. the circle they work it around the perimeter good job defensively they just won't get many openings pressure in the basketball <laughs> on the dribble gives it up intercepted gave it up tries for two off the rim and no good the partner of this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. Step out on that screener. Basket falls despite the contact. That's a nice fake. He shoots from the top of the circle. No. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. He's money with a shot. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He lets it go. He drains it. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. Takes 
away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. High post flashes for the ball handler. For the deuce. And he scores despite the hack. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Let's take a look right here. Shoots from the baseline. Rims out. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Steal. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. In the paint for two. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's a double team waiting there. He buries the shot. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. Shoots it. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. He takes it away. Moving it around the perimeter. It's the rejection. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. We got a timeout on the floor. And with that, let's go courtside Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Aaron's right about that. We're about ready to start things up again. They move it into the front court. He strips him clean. For the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. top of the key. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. And let's go back out onto the floor. It's about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. Well, we'll see if they've 
decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. They'll work it around the arc. Let's face it. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Shot clock is dead. Kicks it out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it into. He got it! He got it! What a shot! Clutch City on that one, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. There was no doubt that he wanted the run. He can look, baby, right at his defensive player and say, I'm sticking this baby in. Oh, nothing but nylon. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing. He really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. UCLA was given all they could handle tonight. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.